I mentioned in passing in yesterday's devotional how important it is to pay attention when Paul introduces a section with the word, therefore. Well, he does it again today, just a few verses later in Romans 5. And once again, his therefore assumes we know what he's been talking about up to this point. In this case, his argument takes a really interesting turn with his therefore as the hinge that connects what, connects what has come before to what comes next. And that turn introduces a new figure from the Old Testament, namely Adam. Hello, I'm Stuart Baskin, pastor of First Presbyterian Church of Tyler, Texas. Sin is a funny thing. I don't mean a ha-ha thing, but an odd thing. At one level, we're born into it. Not that basic re human reproduction is sinful, though some of the early church fathers believed exactly that. No, it's simply something that comes naturally to us. One of our church's pastors from many years ago, the late great John Anderson, used to present infants during baptism referring to the child as this adorable little bundle of original sin. And anyone who has ever raised a child knows that we don't have to teach sin. It comes preloaded. On the other hand, sin is something that began with a particular act by Adam. And that act was basic disobedience. You know the story, of course, how a serpent convinced Eve that the fruit of the tree of which they were not supposed to eat would not result in death and that it would taste good. And then that Eve, in turn, convinced Adam and they ate. And to add to the sin, when God confronted them, they both pointed the finger at someone else. Basic avoidance behavior. What Paul says in today's reading is that just as sin came into the world through Adam's disobedience and is placed on us before we can even choose, forgiveness and justification came into the world through Christ. Here's how Paul puts it, beginning at Romans 5, verse 12. Therefore, just as sin came into the world through one man, and death came through sin, and so death spread to all because all had sinned, sin was indeed in, in the world before the law, but sin is not reckoned when there is no law, yet death exercised dominion from Adam to Moses, even over those sins, even though those sins were not like the transgression of Adam, who is a type of the one who was to come. But the free gift is not like the trespass. For if the many died through the one man's trespass, much more surely have the grace of God and the free gift and the grace of one man, Jesus Christ, abounded for the many. And the free gift is not like the effect of the one man's sin, for the judgment following one trespass brought condemnation, but the free gift following many trespasses brings justification. If, because of the one man's trespass, death exercised dominion over that one, much more surely will those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness exercise dominion in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. Therefore, just as one man's trespass led to condemnation for all, so one man's act of righteousness leads to justification and life for all. For just as by the one man's disobedience the many were made sinners, so by the one man's obedience the many will be made righteous. There is more to this than I can possibly say in this brief devotional, much more. So let me simply say this. By whatever name you choose to call it, sin, the human fault, human frailty or fallibility, the truth is this. It came into the world and infects us all, much the way we are infected with any other chronic illness. At the same time, we are personally responsible for how it plays out in our lives. But in the same way that it came into the world long before us, so in Jesus Christ, sin meets its end. The difference is this, that now, although we are unable on our own not to sin, the obedience and righteousness of Jesus Christ is accounted 
in the divine ledger as our obedience and righteousness. It's as simple as that. Adam and Christ, sin's beginning and its end. And now may God continue to bless you and keep you in all that you do this day and in all the days ahead.